So, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here and to bring you this, world, this work from Health School, University of Algarve. Uh, I'm supposed to talk about evidence-based practice in radiology, the radiographer perspective. First of all, what is evidence-based? Evidence-based uh, is formed by three parts. The best available evidence, the professional should look for it. Uh, the professional should develop the expertise to apply that um, data, the best available data, and of course all of this should be done according uh, to the client or the patient uh, preference. Uh, as a proposed to this research, uh, we, um, it was to analyze the application of the evidence-based practice in radiology by the radiographer in their daily practice at the CT uh, imaging departments or parts of the department. Uh, we had specific purposes. Um, they were to evaluate the concepts of evidence-based practice uh, were applied at the academic training of that radiographer to measure the degree of comprehension of what is evidence-based practice uh, and those concepts in radiology by the radiographers that responded to the survey to determine the means or methods used for training the radiographer at the evidence-based practice, to identify conditioning factors of evidence-based practice in radiology, and to check if there is a relation between the experience of radiographers and the use of evidence-based practice uh, in computed tomography. We created a survey um, to carry out these this aims. Uh, this survey uh, was included in the exploratory descriptive type of study, which aims to analyze the, the applicability of knowledge and evidence-based radiology by radiographers during their daily work and at the academic education. Uh, the questionnaire was sent uh, to 97 radiographers working in five public hospitals. Of course, we had need to have permission to do this, and only the radiographers that accepted to participate answered the, the survey. And from the surveys sent out, uh, only 65 of them were valid. Uh, many of them were missing some answers, and we uh, excluded them from the evaluation. Each uh, questionnaire had three main sections. This was a very long questionnaire. It has the section A, B, and C, with 103 items in a seven-point Likert scale. Uh, the content I mentioned was classified from totally disagree to strongly agree, and the context I mentioned was uh, classified from not important to extremely important by the radiographer. Regarding the results, uh, the academic qualifications of most of the respondents was the bachelor level. Um, only 10 of the responding radiographers had uh, higher education than the bachelor. They had master or PhD. In, term of, in terms of professional experience, the average was about 10 years, ranging from 1 to 38 years. And regarding the professional experience in computer tomography, the average was approximately seven years, ranging from one to 22 years of experience in that area. So we have very young radiographers in computer tomography and radiographers that followed all the evolution on computer tomography. Now I present you the internal reliability. We have the seven factors that could be seen as dimensions of the survey. We had the understanding of EBP concepts, uh, general aspects of EBP, EBP in the work context, training and updating, EBP and clinical governance, conditioning factors, and direct or indirect effects of evidence-based practice. All of them presented higher reliability, being the, lo the lowest, 0 0.79, so it's above 0 0.75, it's okay. 80% of the radiographers apply the principles of EBP in their daily practice. The major limiting factors highlighted by the radiographers was the knowledge to transfer the results of literature to uh, scientific articles in their daily practice, the existence of legislation, the knowledge of EPP concepts and the motivation, 
regarding the training and updating of knowledge, the item specific training to be able to apply the EBP scored 5.25, and regular attendance and courses about EBP uh, at the lowest 3.49. As conclusion, despite the general application of EVP by radiographers, thanks to regular consultation of CT guidelines and the best available um, evidence, decision-making process based on literature review and scientific articles, this group of professionals would benefit from further training. Such approach would be well received and help the radiographers to enhance their knowledge and technical skills, which should ultimately result in increase of radiology department healthcare quality. As conclusion, the knowledge to transfer the results of literature scientific articles was the, the most important, uh, followed by existence of practices and knowledge about concepts of EBP, the professional motivation, knowledge to analyze the data, and the least important was knowledge to elaborate a critical analysis on literature scientific articles. Thank you for your attention.